Hi friends, today we are discussing the one of the first important concept Ohm's law. Ohm's law. The definition of the Ohm's law. Current is directly proportional to voltage. Yet. Temperature is constant. How oh, can I explain? This is the resistor. Sorry, this is the conductor. In this conductor, have the resistance. Okay. The current carrying to this conductor. The current carrying to this conductor is directly proportional to voltage across this element. Voltage across this element at constant temperature is called Ohm's law is called Ohm's law is called Ohm's law i equal to i directly proportional to v by r i is equal to v by r V is equal to IR. R is equal to V by L. In this formulas, we can calculate one by one. Any two is given, remaining one, we can calculate with the help of this formula. With the help of this formula. This concept is at constant temperature. It should be constant. If temperature is not constant, Temperature is not constant. V of T is equal to V of T into R of T. The temperature should be not constant. Here, temperature it should be constant. Basically, the three parameters is there. R, L, C. These parameters is depending on temperature. The temperature is depending on time parameters. These time parameters. If you go for the graph, how to draw the graph between the current versus voltage drop across the R. If it is the 2 amps, the voltage drop is 8. If it is 4 amps, the voltage drop is 16. If the uh, 6 amps, the voltage drop is 24. Something is there. The graph, it will come this. The slope of the graph. The slope of the graph. This is a way varying. In real time, exactly what was voltage current we will discussing. This is the one bucket. In this bucket, water is full. This is called water level directly proportional to voltage. This is called one more bucket. This is called diameter of dia of bucket. This pipe diameter is called this pipe diameter is inversely proportional to 1 by R. The flow Flow of water is directly proportional to current. The flow of water is directly proportional to current. Here, how much quantity? How much quantity is there directly proportional to charge? How much? This is called water level. 
This is called water level. First, you calculate the water level. Water level V is equal to in this bucket ka water quantity is called water quantity is directly proportional to quantity Q U E N I T quantity by dia of bucket. Dia of the bucket. This water level is called voltage. This quantity is directly proportional to charge. Means Q. This dia of the bucket is called capacitor. Means like as two plates. V is equal to charge by capacitor. This is the formula. This is the uh, in a understand way purpose. Basically, in circuit theory, how it was, how it is happening. This is the voltage. This is the resistor. Here, switch is happening. Here, switch is happening. Here, capacitor is taking place. The current is flowing this way. This is the voltage. This is the switch. This is the resistor. This is the capacitor. The resistor R is equal to rho L by A is the formula. The capacitor C is equal to epsilon epsilon A by D. This is the formula for capacitor. This is the circuit theory. This is the practical. We can understand how it was happening inside of the circuit. We are discussing this level. This is called water level is called. We understand purpose only. We are given this example. We can easily understand. This example. Same as in circuit theory. How it will happen. Capacitor. How it will happen. If it is voltage level. How it will happen. Current means how it will happen. Charge means how it will happen. In uh, practice. This is the. We can understand. In real time. The circuit. The voltage is called. Dip, uh, uh, supply in the source. Means. Independent sources. The capacity is called dependent source. This is supply. This is taking. In between, this is the switch. This switch we consider as a tab. This is the voltage. This switch we can consider as tab. Tab is open. The switch is closed. We can start the power supply is flowing. Here tab is open. We can start the water flow. We can start the water flow coming from here to here. Here is the supplier. Here is the receiver. The capacitor is store that energy this is the way of the circuit we can understand 